Hello everybody, Max TG Gaming here, and welcome back to another playthrough of Destiny. Now, before we get into things, um, guys, I'm so sorry there was no uploads last weekend. Um, I'll, I'll give you the short version. Saturday, I completely had my hands full. Um, I was literally just busy doing all sorts of boring stuff, helping out with some family stuff, blah, 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 blah. So Saturday wasn't really an, an option for uploading or recording. But on Sunday, I did was originally planning on uploading some stuff. I was recording some ARC, because I was busy for the morning of that day, but the first of the day I was, I, I spent actually, well, me, Finn and Joe were on ARC doing um, a lot of prep for our next ARC video. Um, I won't reveal any spoilers now, we could talk about that in the, in that ARC video, but um, long story short, we spent way too long mucking around and doing extra bits and bobs where we should have just shut up and got to recording. So we did, and then but it got to that point where we ran out of time and Finn and Joe had to go offline. So, um, yeah, that was that was a bit of a stupid muck up. So, yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. That was why there was no uploads. We got so caught up in Ark, and I was busy with other stuff along with Ark, and yeah, I got nothing uploaded. So, I'm so sorry. It's been like a over a week, been just about over a week now since the last video. We did the Broodmother boss fight, and by the way, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that video. It was good to see um, that that video did really well. You know, it made quite a decent amount of likes from my from my level of YouTubing. And it made a good, and it's got a sort of good, good amount of views, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed that video, and don't worry, we will take on the next boss of Ark at a later point once we've gone to the rest of the caves. Anyway, enough about Ark. We're back on Destiny now, guys, so I, well, I've, I've said I'm sorry. I hope you guys can understand. You know, guys, a guy like, guy like me he doesn't always get, get the time or options to upload. Anyway, end of that. So, welcome back to Destiny, guys. In the last video, we, um, we discovered that Oryx, the Taken King, is after us for revenge. After week, after me, Aiden, and those random guardians killed Crota on the moon. Obviously, Crota is Oryx's son, so Oryx is now after us and the rest of the people in the solar system and in the tower. He wants to kill all of us, but mainly us because we're the one who killed his son. He's here for revenge. So we went to Earth because Cade had a plan to get through his super weapon because he had a super weapon on his dreadnought that completely killed Queen Marasov of the Awoken and all of her other Awoken and Prince Alderaan, I think, as well. So she killed. Um, he killed all of them with his Dreadnought super weapon. It's just capable of destroying any ship within its radius. So we need a way to get through it. And Kate had a stealth drive back on his stash on Earth. She went on Earth. We, we um, fought a sh an Echo of Oryx. That little Echo he makes of himself. We don't know how it works. But he stays on the Dreadnought. Then he sends Echo of himself down to fight. So it's pretty creepy stuff. But anyway, so we took that down. We found the stealth drive. And then we got back out of there. So now in this video, guys, we're heading to Oryx's Dreadnought. In hopes that this stealth drive... We'll get us through that super weapon, and so we can get through and find a way to kill Oryx, or something like that. So guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button here if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because bear in mind, it just literally just takes a second. So literally, just click on the subscribe button and click on the like button. It helps me out more than you know, so please do it if you haven't already. Anyway, so let's get into this. Oh yeah, and be sure to hit that bell button too, because uh, therefore you don't even miss any more of my future uploads. It'll just give you a notification each time you, I upload. So, where is it? There we are. This is our first mission, the Dreadnought. So we've got to survive the Dreadnought super weapon and establish a beachhead for the Vanguard so other Guardians can arrive on the Dreadnought as well and we can all just start fighting Oryx. So we're heading to the Rings of Saturn. Let's do this, guys. So I'm so sorry for the wait, but I've got some recording to do today. Recording more videos after this one, but I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys can understand that um, why I wasn't able to upload. But um, regardless, let's get into this. Yeah, we've got to literally, literally just hope that this works. Oh yeah, bear in mind, we're not taking our ship. But if in case you guys forgot, Cade's using, um, without Eris knowing, he, he took Eris' ship, and he put the stealth drive in that. So yeah, welcome to Saturn. Let's do this. It only took one blast from the Dreadnought. When you're through, it'll never fire again. Just don't forget to plant the transmat link so other guardians can land. Not everybody's got stealth tech and a ship that smells like hive. Good luck, guardian. Activating stealth drive. I'm picking up fluctuations in the power conduit. Relax. I modified the tech myself. 
Probably just Saturn's radio storm is running interference. It's malfunctioning. Did you break my stealth drive? You think they can see us? Stealth drive would work. Never a dull moment, eh? Alrighty. Alright. I'd like to tell you the strength of the city is behind you, but as long as that dreadnought's still firing, we can't risk reinforcements. Head inside, see if you can find whatever's powering that weapon. So guys, we have made it to the Dreadnought. Um, I don't know how Eris is going to take her ship being destroyed, but, you know, that's another story for another time. At the end of the day, it's K it was Kate's idea, not ours, so sh she shouldn't have a pro should have problem with us. I don't know why we could just take our ship, but the stuff driving that. Actually, no, you don't sod that. Why would we want to do that? We won't lose our ship. But yeah, so you can see here all the carnage all over the place. You can just see all these ships here that belong to the all the all these ships that belong to the Woken and the Reef, so they're all dead, unfortunately. But we have a chance to stop this. We're on the dreadnought. Let's do this. Let's get moving. It's nice to go back to Destiny. I mean, I know I've played this game before, so it's not my reactions aren't a problem. It's not really a reaction kind of game, but it's just a game for you know, just fun effect and stuff and things like that. I don't know what I'm on about there. But um, it's for you know, it's for those of you guys who want to revisit the story like me, or for those of you who haven't even seen this game. Just to reiterate. I know I do that a lot, but I just like to reiterate. Just so people don't think something else. So yeah, Oryx is dreadnought. Cozy place. Not. So we would explore the dreadnought. Search the dreadnought to locate it. Oh god. Same thing we saw right before Phobos fell apart. Yeah. Might be some kind of probe. Expect trouble. Search the dreadnought to locate and disable the power source for the weapon that destroyed Eris' ship. Poor Eris. Yeah, this thing's like some, some sort of alarm signal. The bridge across just vanished. Give me a second. I'll check with Eris. Yeah, she says it's probably just a resonance spell, whatever that is. So just don't don't trust anything. Don't trust anything. I mean, why would you trust anything with the hive? How about you let me out and I'll take a look? That's what I'm doing, Ghost. I already know how this works. Get ready to see more of these in the future, guys. On the Dreadnought, anyway. A hive of creepy technology. Alrighty. Moving on up. So remember, guys, be sure to hit that like button if you have not already. Right, um... Look at this thing. Ugh. According to the world's grave, the hive ingests those worms. Not for sustenance, but survival. Spores, moths, and worms. All things Earth's ancestors believe grew from the dead. Just a thought. There you go. Helps to scan every little thing. Oh look, thrall. Surprise! Those of you who have played Halo, don't don't the Hive and the and the Thrall just don't just remind you of well no, mainly the Thrall. They just remind you of the Flood from Halo. Very similar. Just saying, a little random thought. Really reminds me of them. Especially the sound effects some of them make. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, of all the places in Destiny, I'm not gonna reveal all of them, because for those of you who haven't played Destiny, I'm saving that flare in the playthrough, but out of all the places in Destiny, the Dreadnought is my favourite. I think it's incredible. The design is fantastic. Really good work. Any luck with the weapon? Nope. We've only scratched the surface of the Dreadnought. Hive keep vital operations deep in the core of their architecture. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. 
Well, no kidding. Seems we seems that we're always keeping our hands dirty or getting our hands dirty more like. If you're the if you're the main character of the game, the main hero, then you're going to be getting your hands dirty non-stop because no one else will. That's just how it works. Well, this is no victory. That energy powers the weapon. Kate, what do we do? Okay, hold on. Eris is going on about breaking the necrotic. Ah, just shoot it. Ah, there's a shield up. Let me take it down for you. All right, let's shoot this bad boy. Sod this. Found verdict from the vault of glass. Lovely shotgun. Okay, it's down. But I'm picking up other channels to the weapon. Find them. It won't stop firing until you shut them all down. Yes, the Taken are here as well. The ship belongs to the Taken and the Hive. No fun there. You think Oryx or would only be taking the other races and turning them into Taken, but he even takes his own Hive. Turn them into Taken too. Right, so we've got to keep looking around to see if we can find more of those things to shoot and shut down the weapon. There's going to be more of them. Alrighty, moving on up. Moving on up. I say that a lot. I like saying it. Nice. Trusty Amargo Loop hand cannon. Oh, here we go. Fun fact, if anyone's wondering where I got my hand cannon in this Amargo Loop in the first place, that strike I did previously were fighting that that in the Black Garden against the Vex. Hang on, there's a guy up there. Yeah, in the Black Garden against the Vex. At the end of it is a chest. And that's where I got this gun. The first ever time I did it and opened the chest. I got lucky. Leo was trying for this gun for ages and you need to get a good perks with it too. Boom! Boom! The weapon's cycling down. Let's find another channel. Yep, keep on searching. Nearly there. Oh, two heavy weapons from one thrall. That's a treat. I'll take it. <laughs> that was an unintentional pun. I'll take it. From the Taken. Wait, wait. Taken wizard. Oh, come on, really? Just took the grenade. Yeah, wizard summon. Uh, wizard like summoning all those shadowy guys. Well, taken wizards do. There we are. I think this is the last one. Oh. Okay, that's how we're gonna play it. Well, okay, easy does it. Yeah! Talk about clearing house. I love it. Alright, let's try that again, Ghost. There we go. Weapons down! Kate, what's our next move? We need that transmat zone up and running. There's a massive hull breach near your position. That'll be your best bet. So there we go, the weapons down. No more ships being blown out of the blown out of space. Whatever. Check these things out, guys. I've seen them before, obviously, because I've done this mission. I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that. But look how look at this stuff, isn't it? Look just so cool. Look at this. There's a stream of interdimensional energy concentrated within that field. 
growing stronger. And something just stepped out of it. Stay on target. We need more guardians on that dreadnought. So look at that. This essentially, guys, this is a thing you can do later in the game. It's, this area is called the Port of Oryx. You can go here, summon enemies, and fight them with other guardians. And this is the one. This is the best, biggest enemy you can fight. Thalnok, Fanaticus Crota. Essentially, it's a mini Crota. Don't know much else about it. But yeah, that's fun. But we're not fighting that in this mission. That's for a different time. We're here to establish a foothold on the Dreadnought, get guardians here. So we'll save them for another time. Okay. So they're all gone now, I believe. Yeah, we need a team of guys to take him down. No way to take him down solo. It's like a mini Crota raid, essentially. Pretty cool stuff. May show you that another day, guys, but... We'll see. Oh, hello. Ah, nice. That was satisfying. Gotta love a good grenade. Just look at this place. It's just so creepy and eerie. There's like webs everywhere. It's horrible. You think Oryx would want to keep his ship clean, but nope. And look who else is here. A cabal. A cabal ship. Skyburner's colors. Must have deployed from Phobos. Cabal? We'll deal with them later. Secure that transmat zone. So clearly you can see the Cabal have crash landed on this ship from the looks of it, or something like that. So we've got Cabal to worry about, not just Hive and Taken. Just to complicate things even more. Transmet link. Our ship is inbound. Hey Zavala, want to know what a transmat zone on the dreadnought looks like? You there it is. A guardian on the dreadnought without authorization? All oh, right. Can I have authorization? We'll discuss it later. Guardian, take care of that tech, or the transmat zone won't matter. There you go. Our ship is here. Now we just got to kill the cabal. Yeah, you thought the Cabal were completely finished on, uh, on Phobos? Nope. I'll bring down some ammo crates from the ship. You're going to need them. Maybe. Might already have enough. Get rid of these guys first. Whee! Alright, let's finish him. Oh god! Whoa! That, that was close. And one more, come on! Yeah! 99. Guardian, Kane just briefed us on your unorthodox mission. Your victory, no matter the method, is a vanguard victory. You have our thanks. Happy to help. Everyone loves a bad idea when it works. Now, excuse me, Guardian, I have to go have an uncomfortable conversation with Eris about her ship. Get him safe. Good luck with that one, Kate. <laughs> Better him than us. That'd be so awkward. Where is my ship, Kate? It blew up. 
just give them a death stare. The hell you want? I'm done here. See you clowns later. Bye bye. Oh yeah. And there we go. We've, we've taken down Oryx's super weapon. And we've established a foothold on the Dreadnought. So now us and other Guardians can now come here whenever we like. Of course, that is the... Uh, that is how we um, take down Oryx. Because now we can officially come back here whenever we like. And now we've just got to find out a way to defeat Oryx. So there, yeah, guys. That will be it for this video. We've established a foothold on the Dreadnought. Happy days. So in the next video, we'll be finding out... Way to defeat Oryx or something like that anyway. I can't remember the whole story, funny enough. I'm not that good. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, so hit that like button. It takes only a second, so hit it right now. And the subscribe button and the bell button. <laughs> Three little things, but, you know, it, it helps you. No, it doesn't. Well, it helps me and it helps you keep in touch with my videos and not miss any of them. So, also, guys, check the description below for any links. Well, not. Well, yeah, I'll be leaving some links to other videos that I've done, like the, play, especially that Broodmother boss fight on Ark with me, Finn, and Joe taking on the giant spider, the first boss of Ark. Check that out if you haven't already. It was a crazy video, and we were so happy to really take it on. It was a great accomplishment. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. You all take it easy. Goodbye! <laughs>